Hello, I'm Paul Garrett from Orbis Software. I'd just like to introduce you to our new Task Center Data Transformation component. This component has been created for embedding directly into a very wide range of Task Center tools, such as our Web Service Connector tool or Reporting Services tool. I'll show it here in our Web Services Connector. On the left side, hand side of the screen here, you can see that the, the data that the tool is consuming. This could be a, a record set containing one or multiple records or XML from another tool step. On the right hand side here you can see the schema that this tool is currently exposing. In this case this is a web service with a, with a range of parameters but it could be whatever details this tool requires as, as inputs. Now commonly when taking data from one source and mapping it onto another there will be differences either structurally or in format. The very simple format differences, such as data types, are taken care of automatically. So if the only difference is the data type, then you simply drag from the left, let's take that item, onto one on the right, and it maps across. Where the data doesn't map so easily, because there are, there are differences in format or, or, or structure, we have a tool set that allows you to change the data as it comes across. We've got a range of different functions here. I'll just take you quickly through them. There's um, an external lookup which allows you to look up data in an external database. So for example if the data coming in has got an order number and you need the order number in the target system to be able to update it then you could look up in that in an external table either in the system you're coming from or the system you're going to the translation of that data and map it across got an internal lookup which I'll show you in a moment in more detail that allows you to simply have a table, an internal table of lookup values. I've got a fixed dynamic value which allows me to just fix a, a parameter or, or use a task center variable to map to a, an element. I've got a, a run VB script um, transform which gives me pretty much full freedom to carry out any sort of complex transformations in script. Um, skipping over the, the looping for a moment, I've also got some aggregation functions, a node count, which counts the number, the occurrences of a of a node. For instance, order on the on this side, it would count the number of orders. So if you've got a requirement um, to update something and, and state how many there are, which is quite common, and then down the bottom here, I've got sum, which allows you to sum an element within a node. So if I wanted to sum the quantity within order, I could add all the quantities up and get a total quantity for the order and pass that across. I've got a number of looping um, functions. Uh, to start with a simple loop which just says loop around on, on the node on the left hand side um, in a simple fashion, um, a one to one sort of loop. Then I've got a merge and a split which are the opposites of each other and allow you to split or merge data within a loop. Now let's just have a look in more detail at the internal lookup. Just drag an internal lookup onto the, onto the canvas. Okay, with this internal lookup I'm going to map my currency code across from here into my internal lookup. and I'm going to map um, a piece of data from this side and then when I open the internal lookup you can see that it's got input and output parameters and now I can just define a table of values so I might say that on the left hand side dollar coming in is going to be translated to USD and I might say pounds is going to be translated to GBP. And so I can add a table here of all the values that I want to map across. And that's as simple as that step is.